the whole week in Saudi. You know what's going on, man. It's crazy. It's been a crazy week, guys. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. I mean, look, it's been a crazy week in boxing. By the way, Radio Raw here with Chuck Liddell. You just saw an MMA fighter for the first time climb for the boxing ropes and almost defeat the heavyweight champion of the world. What was your first thought when you saw Tyson Fury go down? Oh man, I was excited. I, you know, I, I thought I thought he could drop him early, but I, I really, I actually said before the fight, even if he drops him early, it's going to be hard to finish him. He's going to get that eight count, and, he, and the Tyson has a, has a ha habit of getting back up and still being able to finish his fights. Now, you know, MMA fighters have been trying to dethrone boxers since this crossover thing started. I mean, is he, is Ngannou like the hero of all MMA fighters right now? Uh, for sure, yeah. I mean, look, look, it, it, he he dropped him in the second round without a, without an eight count. It was over, and I, in a real fight, it's over. So uh -huh. that's why I keep saying they can't they can't compete. Well, it's a different. There's different timing. There's different uh, distance. It's a different it's a different style of fighting. But what he was able to cross over and do it, man, it's an amazing job by him. How is that possible? Though? I mean, they, they, his footwork was good. He was able to slip punches. He fought all 10 rounds. Like, what do you credit that to? I don't know. Uh, his training I, I work out, I work ethic. I mean, he's a tough guy. He's been training real hard. I mean, Dewey Cooper's a friend of mine. I've known that guy for a long time. He's been working with him for a long time. Hey, man, they work hard, and uh, and he got after it. I mean, I, 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 was, I was impressed. I, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting him to be able to go that hard. I really watched the pace of the fight. I was like, man, he's not going to do this for 10 rounds. Right. He did it for 10 rounds. You know, I, I think hey, it was it was a good job. At the end of the fight, who did you have winning? I, I had Fury winning. By the, by the way boxing scoring goes, I wa you know, I was watching it. I, I, I would love it to go more by damage and how, who put more damage on the other guy. Right. Because that's my style of fighting, but but that's not how it is. Typically. So I, I had him winning. But, but I mean, the 96-93, the that was a little, uh, Crazy, come on. Right? I, 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 look, I, I'm okay, the, you know, close <laughs> draw. With a slight win, okay, but that, come on. Who would you like to see Ngannou face next? And do you believe he can beat any of these top heavyweights? Uh, I mean, I don't know. After, after last night, man, it looked like he can do just about anything. So I, I, I'm, I'm hoping he uh, has it. But if they'll figure something out, his camp, let his camp figure it out and go out, out, out and have some fun. You know, there's a lot of money in, in crossover boxing right now. We're here in Saudi. A lot of the legends turned up. Has, has this uh, piqued your interest at all? Oh man, I'm I'm good being retired, but I, well, but it was it was great to watch, man. I had a good time. I mean, you know, back in back in my day, I'm 30, 53, man. I, you know, it's about time you, you're good. I'm, I'm good. Man. All right, well, we respect that. Yeah, you've done plenty. You've done plenty. And lastly, you know, obviously, Usyk, the undisputed fight for Tyson Fury is up next, either in December or a few months after that. Does what you saw last night change how you see that fight? You know, I, I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I, I still think I still give it to Fury, but I, I mean, I, I'm Uchik stuff, man, and uh, it's, it's fun watching him. Yeah, he's an entertaining guy. I've never, never met, just met him out here. He's, he's making me laugh, man. He's a funny dude. <laughs> uh, lastly, do you have a, like, number one pound for pound in boxing? Oh, man, I don't know. I, I don't know who I'd go for. Not. What about your MMA? Oh, I, I hate, well, honestly, I hate, I hate pound for pound. I hate it because they're a different style of fighting for, for different weight classes. Guys, and guys, guys, it's a different thing. Let me change the question. Who are you most excited to see? When you hear a fighter like, oh, that guy's going to fight, I'm going to be in front of the TV or ringside. You know, I, you know guy, guy, I like explosive guys. I mean, I, Sean O'Malley, I, I mean, I like the way he fights. I mean, I like guys like uh, um, Wokonowski. I, I, I like the kid, man. I, yeah, but I, I like a lot, of, a lot of fighters. The guys that come out there and bang. The guys that want to get out there and, and not gonna, try, to, try to finish fights. I don't care how they do it. As long as they're out there finishing, I like them. Well, you're one of those guys, so we all have to like you. In fact, we love you, Chuck. Always a pleasure to talk to you. You've done a great thing in this sport. Thank you for talking to me. Radio Raheem with Chuck Liddell.